What's up, my friends? Today, we're going to look at the entire morning board for prize picks. Updated public picks are 50 and 24. Past two videos did not hit, but I went 6 and 0 in public picks inside Discord and on Twitter. Those were a four pick prize pick slip, full sweep, and a two pick parlay, full sweep. So, Things have gone very well for us lately, 50 and 24. Hopefully after today's video, we can bump up the winning record and you guys can line your pockets a little bit. If you want the VIP stuff, I don't blame you. 83 and 17 is the private cappers record over the last 100 picks. That is for the new Price Picks Value Channel and NHL. And we've had betting profit in three of the last four days. So things are going very well, despite the two random videos that did not hit. Now let's look at Anthony Simons, and let's talk about him real quick. He has been pretty good this season at this prop line. You'll look at him, you'll look at his long-term full season, and you'll be like, wow, man, he's hitting almost 60% of the time. But he's actually been under in 18 of 31 games when Damian Lillard is in the lineup. And when we're looking at a more recent sample size of having their full team healthy, you know, we're talking Nurkic is in there, Jeremy Grant is active, Damian Lillard, Josh Hart, these guys are all active. The only person really missing from their rotation is Justice Winslow right now. He's actually been under in 11 out of the last 13 games. And to make matters worse, let me go ahead and show you the last 10 games for the Denver Nuggets and where their defense has been strong. All right, so this cheat sheet is actually free. It's on the, a web page on my website. You can grab it down below in the description section, and I'll leave it in the comments as well. By the way, if you're watching this, you're like, yeah, this is good free information. Hit the like button for me. Help me grow here on YouTube, and I'll continue to provide you free stuff. You do that for me, I do this for you. So I'm looking at this. I go down to the bottom, and you guys can do this during your opportunity of watching this video every day because I'm going to leave this free for a while. This L10 summary for the teams. I'm going to go to the opposing three-point made, and I'm going to sort. And you see all the way down here. The Denver Nuggets, actually, over the last 10 games, have given up the fewest three-pointers per game in the NBA. Now, why is that bad for Anthony Simons? Anthony Simons has made over 50%, just over 50% of all his points this year from downtown. So you've got a guy here who relies significantly on shooting from the outside, going against a team that stops the outside shots and who has been hitting the under more often than not when Damian Lillard is active. All signs point to under 24 and a half points and assists. Now, if you're on DK Sportsbook, oh baby, you can get this at minus 120, but go to FanDuel Sportsbook and you can get under 24 and a half for minus 108. It was the Second pick I actually posted inside Discord this morning. Posted one late last night about Kyrie Irving. It's not the one you think, and it's an under. Can't tell you what it is, but it's inside Discord for you. You can grab the VIP link down below if you'd like it. Let's keep going. All right, this next pick, let's talk Joel Embiid. Over 15 and a half first half points against the Clippers. He has absolutely dominated the Clippers and Zubak left and right over the last couple years. Now, when you look at Embiid and how he's been doing this season, it's been phenomenal at this prop line. He has been on fire. He's actually hit the over in 18 out of the last 26 games. Started the season off kind of slow, but he's been red hot as of late. And when you're looking at a shorter sample size, and we want our last 10 games, I have down eight over the last 10 games. Now, out of those two games where he missed, one of them he had three fouls in the first quarter and the other game he had two fouls in the first quarter in shortened rotation so only the two games where he ran into early first half foul trouble did he miss and all the rest my man hit the over and hit it with ease at 18 plus in seven of the eight times he did hit the over now the Clippers defense is pretty good especially if they have PG-13 back if Kawhi Leonard certainly continues to play 36 plus minutes but Neither of those guys are going to be on Embiid. It's going to be Zubak, who also can get a little foul happy against talented bigs. 
And over the last season and this season, we actually saw Embiid score 17 plus points all three times he faced the Clippers. And when we want to see the opportunity of getting to the free throw line, yeah, my man is averaging just about four free throws in the first half against the Clippers over the last couple years and a little over eight total over the course of the full game, which shows he continues to just get to the free throw line throughout the game. That's pretty darn good. I expect Embiid to hit the over. This is a really nice two-pick parlay to start our day. There are a lot more picks that I like on tonight's short four-game slate, and I'll be posting the rest inside Discord. Again, if you want more of these videos, hit the like button for me, subscribe, and then tell me down below. Drop a comment. You got to help. If the support isn't here on YouTube, I'll keep them on TikTok and I'll just keep writing the articles on the site and I'll move along with life. So show me you guys here on YouTube want this to continue and I'll keep posting stuff for you. All right. I'll see you on the inside and hopefully we can win some money together. Have a good day, my friends.